Um, as expected, it was very light up in our northern mountains, but you can see Alta saw two inches, an inch up at Brighton, and a lot of that is now starting to taper off. You're going to see up at Alta, though, still kind of socked in with the clouds, but that snow is kind of tapering off. That storm's moving by to the north of us. And as we take a look at our temperatures in Salt Lake City right now, uh, you're in the low 40s, feeling like 33 degrees in Salt Lake City. So even though we've broken into the 40s, that breeze is making it feel much cooler all across the Wasatch Front. Uh, you can see those low to mid 40s, 29 in Park City right now and in Evanston, 37 over in Bear Lake and down in St. George or in the mid 50s. And as we dive into the afternoon, storms pushing off to the north of us and we've actually got clear sky still socked in with clouds up in our northern mountains. But in the valley, you are starting to dry out right now. We saw some flurries across the Salt Lake Valley early this morning, got some of that lake effect snow that ramped up, but not a whole lot. It was very light. And behind that system, as that cold front pushes out south of the state, we have high pressure that's starting to build in, which is indicated by the reds and the oranges, which is going to warm us up as we dive into our holiday weekend. But for today, boy, we just have cold air that's settled in. We're in the low 40s today in Salt Lake City. Lots of sunshine, a breeze coming from the northwest 5 to 10 miles per hour, and that's cold air getting funneled into the state. Mid 50s in St. George, nothing but sunshine down south and through central Utah. And then in the north, we'll see a combination of clouds and sunshine with temperatures just plummeting as we go into late tonight, early tomorrow morning for your holiday morning. Clear skies, but you're going to be down to the mid-20s in Salt Lake City around sunrise. Low to mid-20s all across the Wasatch Front. Many areas are going to be in the teens, like Park City, 15 degrees, Moab even, down into the teens. And you can see in southern Utah, each day it gets a little bit warmer. We'll be in the upper 50s by Friday, mid-60s on Saturday, nearing 70 again by early next week. And your Thanksgiving is going to be a little bit warmer than it is today, so feeling pleasant. In northern Utah, let's take a look at your super seven-day forecast. So if you're going to be up skiing at Brighton this afternoon or going into the evening time, uh, you can see this afternoon is going to be looking good. Mid-20s, uh, those flurries and those light snow showers have all tapered off. But let's give you an hour-by-hour -hour breakdown at your Thanksgiving. You can see that we're going to start off frosty in the mid-20s, but you'll warm up. It'll be a bit warmer than it is today. We'll be in the mid to upper 30s by 11 o'clock, peaking at 44 tomorrow, and you'll cool fast by 7 o'clock, you'll be back down to the mid 30s. But once we get past those really cold temperatures, you kind of just keep warming going into our weekend. You're nearing 50 on Saturday and Sunday. Here's the thing we don't like to hear, Max. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. We got rid of the Valley inversion. Yes, we did. But it's going to be back this weekend. And it's that time of year we can expect it. Um, so you're going to get some more of that haze. I know. Okay. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. What mm -hmm. the heck? But I'm just the messenger, people. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we'll be in the low 50s early next week. So with the valley haze, you do get more mild temperatures. I'd rather the snow and the rain, though, to be honest yeah. with you.